Hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Gatherer channel and today we are working on the hunting rig. I bought a 93 Jeep Cherokee recently a few weeks ago in Maryland and it's in great shape there's no rust but there's a problem. You start it up and you drive just a little bit down the road and the fuel pump starts humming like crazy. So I've got a new fuel pump and I have some time. My brother-in-law has a garage that he said, come on up. So we're going to uh, work on this fuel pump. But here, let's take a listen. Oh yeah, starts right up and purrs. We're we'll going down the road here for a second and you'll hear it's starting to get louder already. So the problem is you start driving down the road, it doesn't want to take any hills, it doesn't want to give you any power, it spits and sputters. Well, it starts right off right now, but here in a second, it's gonna start getting loud. And so I've got a new fuel pump. Um, I also have some spray paint to paint the fuel tank to try to keep it from rusting up. And I got some new straps for hangers. You can hear it starting to get louder as we speak. Oh yeah, listen to her hum. So we're gonna head up, drop this fuel tank, try to clean it out. I'm pretty sure it sat for about five or six years from the person that I bought it from. They got it from somebody else that had been sitting in the yard. So um, pretty sure there's a lot of junk in the tank. They actually recently changed the fuel pump and you can tell it's nice and shiny but it's already humming. I think it's uh, getting clogged up with stuff in the tank, so we're gonna empty the tank out, swish it out, clean it out real good, and put some fresh fuel and a new uh, pump assembly in it. So we'll try to just show that real quick and give you a little overview of the rig, and you'll see some other work that we're gonna be doing to it. We're gonna uh, probably paint it, do some other stuff, but this is, uh, this is the vehicle that I like to drive up on the, um, my parents' property during the winter time, uh, throw my bow or my gun in the back and uh, go up to hunt. So that's what we're gonna do. Just stay tuned, you'll see a little bit of work. Do a quick run around on the Jeep. It's old 93 and it's really super clean. Just the, the old sun faded, no clear coat look. But we're gonna get in there and uh, work on that fuel tank, that fuel pump. Let's get it back in. So as you can see on this fuel tank, that nice shiny bit right there, oops, is the fuel pump that they already installed, but like you heard, it was humming. So um, I'm pretty positive by the looks of the nuts on these hangers right here, there's no rust removed from them bolts. So I'm pretty positive they didn't drop the tank, they just put a new pump in and I'm pretty sure there's obstructions in the tank. So we're gonna drop the tank down and uh, clean it out. So I went down to the local AutoZone and I bought a fuel pump, the whole thing, the whole assembly here. Um, it even is wired in and uh, with a two foot pigtail on it. It's got a filter on it and uh, the float. The pump was like 70, five dollars or seventy two dollars um, for the whole assembly but if you bought just the pump it was 75 so that was kind of a no-brainer and uh, I also bought hangers in case we need them but I think the other ones are gonna be good 
So let's get under the Jeep and see the master mechanic Mitch at, at work. So I ran the Jeep to down about to an eighth of a tank, and we're gonna just put this jack here up onto the tank. The tank has a little bit of a like a, a rock guard cover that's plastic, but it's got these two straps right here. This strap right here goes up to that bolt, which you can't really see. I don't have a light on it. Um, but it's just two sides, and once you drop those two bolts down, the tank will come loose, um, and we'll be able to drop it down. Before we drop the tank, we got to disconnect the fill tube, and we're new with this, so we're assuming that this panel right here, right here, has a couple of uh, bolts into the wall. And I think that'll drop that down so we can access the panel or the fill tube. We'll see. So we're running 3 8 socket and a little sheet metal type of screw is what's holding that in there. We're going to find out if this is how you fix it or not. Does that drop down much or is it, um, is it tacked on there? Well, there's more bolts, but it's sandwiched between the... Trailer hitch. In the yeah, car. I see that. I wonder if you just do that. Man. Oh, there's a lot more in there than. Hmm. <laughs> We noticed that everything is kind of rusted up and it's pretty tough to try to bust them loose. We tried to find a spot. It's a Saturday at 1.40. Most of the parts places are closed right now. And the ones that are open do not carry the bolts for the hanger straps. So now that we've disconnected the fuel lines and there's gas everywhere, we thought probably shouldn't use the, the grinder and have sparks going everywhere and we might be safe but who knows and uh so we're gonna try a sawzall we're gonna cut the bolt ends off to where we can reach the deep well uh socket on there because right now it's about four and a half inches that we are trying to get to so obviously a deep well won't fit that deep um so we're gonna start there and if it doesn't do what we need it to do we've got a plan D or E that we can go to, um, and we might end up there anyways, uh, head into Lowe's and get some turn buckles and some uh, threaded rod and some nuts uh, and washers that we can use. Dingle. Yeah? That's going to be hard to get the nut back. Oh, I guess we can dress it up afterwards, but uh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> well, we're going to... What do you... What? <sighs> Thank you, Gamar. <laughs> all of the fuel issues put a fan on got the fuel out of the way we plugged the fuel pump holes with the gaskets or the rubber pieces that came with the new fuel pump to keep any emissions or any uh, fumes coming out and the hoses that we disconnected we put bolts in and closed them off to keep any fumes from coming out 
So we pretty much were clean in the area and we went with the, the die grinder instead because we tried all other options. So we're on to the next step. Oh, and we had, a, we had the fire extinguisher ready to go just in case. All right. Oh, baby. Let get low on air. Yeah. A little bit too. All right. Well, where we started initially, we were right. We were able to get up in here and get the clamps that were right under here. We were able to get those loose, Mitch was. My hand strength isn't quite there yet. And uh, we were able to drop the fuel tank down. These hoses go right through the, the frame over there. And uh, so we were able to get these disconnected off the fill tube and bring the tank down. There's a couple of uh, extra vent ho hoses on the top we had to disconnect. We got it out. Looks pretty good for a 93. I'm just gonna spray paint it, but might as well clean it out first. Oh, and we broke the bolts, so we gotta replace that stuff. This could be changed while it was up in the air. And there's two separate pieces. There's these pieces that stick into the hole right here in these slots. That's your fuel pump piece, and then there's a ring separate out here. So we're gonna get a punch on this side and tap it and it'll screw that around until you can pull that ring out that has an o-ring behind it and then you can pull the whole pump out That's our problem. Well, we got us a little plan. We took a hole saw and cut a hole in some insulation board. Got a five gallon pail under there. This has got a screen in it. So maybe we can catch some of what's coming out of there just to see what it looks like. It doesn't feel like it's wanting to work and move it. I think so, because I was flashing it around in there just to see. Get out of there, buddy. And it felt pretty heavy. So this is the inside of the fuel tank. There may be a reason why we're having such a problem with my fuel pump pumping fuel up. It was all that rust was just clogging up that filter. So instead of trying to clean this out 
and replacing it or cleaning it out and putting a new fuel pump in and another filter on and having the same thing happen later on we are going to order a new tank this is you see here that's the the very top i can't get into the oh there you go mitch says you got to be smarter than the anyway you can't quite see it as good as i can with my eye there we go it's all rust so the project is done for the day because nobody has a fuel tank in stock they're gonna order it order in the fuel tank and it will be here tomorrow morning and i will be able to work on the jeep tomorrow afternoon after church so to be continued i guess we'll see you tomorrow mitch says like i want to smell like gas two days in a row all right that's that surprise we have a new tank now tons of rust and that was our main problem so we got a new tank and while we we're trying to take the tank down the hangers were a little bit longer and we uh, broke one of them off and the other one we cut off so we're either going to be using these and cutting this off to hang onto it or we have these cam buckles and a threaded rod that we can put inside with a nut on the other side because no parts stores has them and uh, we want to get this project done and this is a good option. So I'm going to clean this all down, it's got a nice greasy film on it, uh, brake cleaner it, then buff it down a little bit with some sandpaper or something and then self etching primer and paint. So the whole tank is etched now and degreased and I've got the self etching primer so I probably didn't need to sand it down but it's nice and should accept the paint and really hold. So now I'm going to do the primer and uh, let it dry for a little while and then throw a coat of black paint on and you can see what it looks like when we're done. Well, I tried to do the right thing, sanded it all down, primed it, weighted, painted, and it's just peeling right off. I think this is galvanized and I'm not a painter. I just thought I'd do the right thing. And I think the galvanized won't, won't let that primer adhere. So I had that oil on it. We should have just kept the oil on there and not worried about it. So now, I'm not painting the rest of the tank because it's just going to come off and I'm going to put this fuel pump in and put everything back together and then we'll get it on the truck or in the Jeep. You take it go on the gas tank, then you put that yeah. on top and then this clamps that to that. I think so too. Some grease. It just kind of keeps that from right. getting marred up if something shifts on it. Star. Here 
a small one. Oh, there we go. Found it. I just needed a fucking tip. Good. Looks good. Looks good, but but the paint job. <laughs> this is the Jeep fuel tank, the Cherokee fuel tank hanger. Take two. Take two. Yeah, and we cut about two inches or so, two and a half inches off when we were taking these these nuts off of here. We got a turnbuckle. Turnbuckle? Yeah. Turnbuckle. All right? Take this end out. Threaded rod on here. This is a six inch threaded rod. I'm putting this nut on here. So once it tightens up to that spot, we'll crank this down and that'll lock that in place. I was gonna use Loctite, but Mitch says this will work just as well or better. Then that's gonna hang just like this, right, throwing you under the Jeep. Just like this, this hangs on the top, and like you see, we got the length now, and then it'll go through the strap, and we'll put a washer, and I dropped it, a lock nut on the end. And instead of going to Dodge Chrysler shop for one of these at $32 a piece, we got a $3 piece that work just as well so there's your there's your uh, hack to make your fuel tank hanger here we go moment of truth Well, that's good. That's why we bring it to the professionals. Yeah. I'm headed home now after putting the fuel pump in and the fuel tank and the fuel filter. And I decided I'd pull off the side of the road and fire it up and just let you see what it sounds like from the inside. I haven't had an issue. Everything's nice and clean. The pump just kicked on. Fired up, put it in gear, and let's go. Everything seems to sound pretty good, except for that rattle underneath. Got to figure out what that is. But the fuel pump nice and quiet it accelerates fine there's no starving for fuel so pretty happy about the project I want to thank Mitch my brother-in-law for giving me a hand um, and doing a lot of the work because I'm still kind of almost one-handed um, thumb is healing but it's kind of weak still but he helped me out tremendously and he usually does that with uh, most people. So, um, thanks Mitch, thanks a lot. Uh, so if there's uh, any questions about how to do the fuel pump and fuel tank, the project that we did, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, hopefully this will help you out on your 93 
Jeep Cherokee, uh, Jeep XJ. Um, don't know how many maintenance videos I'll do, but once in a while we'll be doing some tinkering on the new uh, hunter-gatherer uh, transport vehicle here. Um, up until my daughter Brenna takes over uh, ownership of it. She says this is her Jeep, so uh, might run it for the winter and in springtime if she's got, got her license by then, maybe it'll be time for me to look for something different. But I just want to make sure all the the kinks are worked out of it and it's running smoothly. So hey, thanks a lot for watching. Um, it was a little bit of a, a headache, but we got it done and it's definitely um, much better than it would have been if we would have left that other fuel tank in. So uh, I'm gonna sign off for now. Uh, hopefully you'll keep watching videos, we'll keep bringing them. Uh, thanks for watching. We love you, God loves you, and we will see you next time. See you later.